government star witness was on the stand today in the trial of a woman accused of helping her brother, Nico Jenkins, kill two unsuspecting men in South Omaha. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski spent the day in court. He's live there with the very latest. Jake? Greg, testimony ended about 15 to 20 minutes ago. Erica Jenkins' cousin, Christine Bordeaux, once again on the stand for the second day in a row. Now, both of them are charged with conspiracy, two counts of conspiracy in separate cases, but connected to uh, Nico's killing spree. Now, it's going to come down to the jury whether or not they believe that Christine Bordeaux is telling the truth. Erica Jenkins is on trial for her alleged role in the Spring Lake robberies and murders. It was the beginning of her brother Nico Jenkins' killing spree. The state says Erica and Christine Bordeaux lured Jorge Ruiz and Juan Pena to Spring Lake so Nico could rob them. Nico blasted them both in the head with a shotgun. Bordeaux, the prosecution's key witness, is the person who can put Erica at the scene. The defense went after Bordeaux because she had previously lied under oath, had a criminal history, and they pointed out inconsistencies in her testimony. When asked if she hoped her testimony could lead to amended or dropped charges in her cases, Bordeaux said, quote, Yes, I hope the courts see that I came in to tell them what I know. The important thing is, is that whenever you have a record or whenever you have uh, criminal history, you just have to be honest about it. And that's what she did. And she was simply honest about everything in her past. And, and really what's important today is what happened a year ago. And that's what she was able to do. A Sprint representative testified about where Erica's alleged cell phone was located the night of the murders. The cell phone is located by a tower near Pena's apartment multiple times, then later by a tower close to Spring Lake Park. The defense says no physical evidence puts Erica at the scene, but the state says Bordeaux's fingerprints were on the truck the victims were found in. And we'll just have to see what the jury thinks about whether her testimony was credible or not. The two homicide detectives testified this afternoon as to what was found at the crime scene as well as at one of the victim's apartments. Prosecutors had them corroborate much of the story that Christine Bordeaux told. The jury is hoping to get the case. They're likely hoping to turn over the case to the jury uh, on Friday morning. Reporting live outside the Douglas County Courthouse in downtown Omaha, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. Meantime, investigators believe Erica Jenkins had a connection or was present for all four of her brother's murders in August of 2013. In addition to Ruiz and Pena, a judge convicted Nico Jenkins of gunning down Curtis Bradford and Andrea Kruger.